Now is Craig Bolanos. He is founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group. Craig, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. I mean, deja vu all over again. That's right. Yeah, we have a presidential race that likely will not be decided today or perhaps even this week. How do you think the markets will respond? Well, it's been a roller coaster all evening. I mean, we've been down. Now we're actually trending relatively flat with the Dow Jones futures slightly negative. But I got the S&P and the NASDAQ trending slightly to the positive. And what does that tell you? I think that tells you that at the end of the day, this is going to be for investors more about policy in the Federal Reserve than it's going to be politics because there's not going to be any tremendous overhaul in form of legislative changes. We're going to have some gridlock once this thing is all said and done. Craig, speaking about gridlock, the COVID stimulus has been stuck in gridlock. Uh, families waiting on the stimulus. Uh, what do you think uh, the prospects are? I guess it all depends. It's so unpredictable at this point because we don't have a clear winner. Well, Lauren, it's so unpredictable, but here's what the markets are telling us. Yesterday, we had this big rally on Monday and Tuesday coming in, mm -hmm. and that was the market saying the polls are actually going to be right this time, that we were going to probably have a blue wave, which would lead to the immediate passage of getting this fiscal stimulus up and out. But it looks like there's a good chance we might be back at divided government, and with divided government, we're probably not going to see a stimulus package now passed until January, March. Money's not getting out to people until February, March. That could be a problem depending on how this virus trends in the fall for market participants. Uh, Craig, wanted to get your opinion on something. Several friends of mine uh, in the financial business uh, say that most investors are cheering for a Trump victory. Would you agree? You no, know, I think, you know, it's interesting. You know, study after study shows that it doesn't necessarily matter who wins the White House. Everyone's going to have their own bias, but remember, political biases can be incredibly blinding when it comes to the investment process. You know, the old cliche goes, Wall Street doesn't like uncertainty, mm -hmm. and uncertainty comes in when there's a unified party across the White House and Congress. But, you know, I kind of look at the current makeup we have, and it might be more of the status quo. The problem we're running into is what Lauren just said. What's the prospects for stimulus right now under a continued divided government? So I don't think Wall Street has a fight in this race. I think Wall Street focuses on profits. But right now, Wall Street is focused on the virus because it's virus that's affecting corporate profitability. And Craig, looking at the local races here in Illinois, the graduated uh, income tax amendment, it certainly appears at this point at least that it's been defeated. Um, how we're hearing from Governor Pritzker's administration is Lieutenant Governor saying that they might have to raise taxes across the board if this fails. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, this is going to be tough. I mean, at the end of the day, so much money was poured into this race. Mm -hmm. And you said it correctly, Lauren. You know, we heard some threats, you know, coming out of the lieutenant governor. Well, maybe I shouldn't say threats, statements, you know, suggesting that there could be this 20% rise across the board. I mean, money's going to have to come from somewhere. And this is going to be a problem for certain state and local governments because, again, if we have a divided Congress, it is much less likely that we get any fiscal stimulus coming to states and local counties. So I'm not representing that we're going to have to have an above the board tax increase on Illinois taxpayers, what could be as much as 6% from the current 4.95 rate, but they're going to have to get to work into Springfield and figure something out because the bills are coming due. All right, Craig, thanks so much for your time this thanks, morning. Craig.